father is about to start a new career as he waits out his suspension. If you're shopping for a new car, Browns wide receiver Josh Gordon could wind up your salesman. News Channel 5's Dave Arnold takes us to the dealership that's adding some real star power to its sales team. I think it's a win-win on both parts. They get to see Josh Gordon, plus they get to look at the new cars. With word leaking out on social media early today that currently unemployed star Browns receiver Josh Gordon will be coming to town selling cars at this Portage County car dealership, excitement filled the small town. To bring him here and, and have that kind of publicity is great. I mean, it's great for the town and actually great for Portage County altogether. Sarshone owns the Ford and Chevy lots here, but official word is not coming out quite yet. So employees here at the dealership are sworn to secrecy. They can't talk anything about Josh Gordon coming here, but he will have a desk behind me. I found that out. Customers here are pretty excited about it. It's going to be really thrilling for people around here. It'll be a real good move, I think. Like, like I said, Dane still works here, and it used to be his great granddad's place. At the Randolph Barbershop, it's astonishment mixed with a Browns fan's cautious optimism. Pretty interesting. Uh, it's a shocker, you know, small town like Randolph, big name like that. I don't know exactly what the situation is, but uh, I, to me it was disappointing. Uh, I'd like to see him play because I think the Browns need him. It's more of the same here at the Randolph Inn. Plenty of Browns fans here. I'm a Browns fan, but you know, the disappointments every year, you know. Josh don't help by not being on the team. You have a lot of small town people here who have probably made a lot of mistakes themselves in life and somebody's given them a second chance. So I think it's a good thing. On your side at Randolph, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5.